9.95 for a pint in I Temple know. Bar. 9.95. So pretty much you're paying a tenner for a pint. Pretty much, yeah. Now, it's again, it's easy to blame the pubs, but like, you know, Diageo, which make Guinness, and Heineken, um, they have raised the prices for pubs so of their actual product. So Diageo raised uh, the price of a pint yeah. by 12 cent plus VAT. Um, like, you know, consumers are going to have to pay for that. You know, like pubs, they have, they can only do so much. Um, but yeah. Well, so. it's going to cost, like everything is costing more to make at the minute. Mm -hmm. So you would think that Diageo and Heineken probably to get the yeast like we're seeing that over in the Ukraine that they can't get maybe the materials to make the pints as well. Everything is going up. But I mean, yeah. to think that you can charge a tenner for a pint. Or you could go and across the road and it'll be 6.30. Like it's just, but it is for, a temple It's for tourists thing. though. Yeah, Do you mean is. tourists are coming into this country they are already been hit with outrageous hotel bills. And then to go and get a pint as well. I mean, where? why would you want to come know, to well Dublin? Well, now, Temple Bar, I think, uh, you know, we can't just blame the cost of living crisis on Temple Bar. They've always been, yeah. you know, nearly a tenner for a pint, as far as I remember anyway. So. And also, rent rates, they are more expensive in that area. Yeah. You know, it all adds into yeah. the cost. But I just want to say a big hi to uh, Danny Duval, who did this special investigation for the mirror, who had to go around oh, and buy pints to see how expensive they were. And Danny. take a quick picture of the loving receipts your, as well. Loving your yeah. work. They Some had to go to six jobs. places to buy pints to see how expensive they were.